What is up everybody? Today I just wanted to make a quick video letting you guys know what fixed my map sensor issue. I know that this video would have helped me out a lot so I'm just throwing this out there in case it will help you guys with your build. Quick breakdown, I have an AK24 that I converted into rear wheel drive for my E30 uh, and I was having a lot of issues with my map sensor. What I first did was I checked the ground power and signal to make sure that those were all getting correct power. I checked the continuity of the signal wire to the ECU and I have a Link HC20X. So a quick rundown of uh, the issues that I was having. Um, the MAP sensor was not receiving any voltage to the ECU. It was stuck at 0.8 volts um, and then was not getting any MAP sensor reading. Uh, every time I tried to calibrate it, it would um, say it's above or below 5 kPa, uh, which is like a pretty common thing. But I didn't see anybody talking about this, and that was that um, this Link ECU and a lot of other Link ECUs have an onboard map sensor, and sometimes the ECU will try to read that. Okay, so uh, the Link ECU has a um, onboard map sensor, and that is this guy right here. Uh, it should be a 6.5 uh, map sensor or 7 bar. Um, if I'm not mistaken, but um, all you need to do is run a vacuum line to this map sensor um, and that's your going to be your onboard map sensor. If you don't want to do that, um, there is this tiny little panel here uh, and it has three switches and you can see right here um, for OEM map sensor, you just need to have the bridge uh, on the left and then for the onboard map sensor you have to have the bridge on the right too. And that's going to be this uh, map select right here. And so if you pull off this little bridge right here, um, you can move it to the right or move it to the left depending on if you want to use the onboard map sensor or the OEM map sensor. Yeah, what I did was I just popped off the pliers, uh, popped, popped off that little bridge with pliers um, and then moved it to the left because I want to use the OEM map sensor and that was able to work. I'm also using a, a Skunk 2 4 bar map sensor and I believe that it's the exact same specs as the K-tuned map sensor and so you can use all of the same files and stuff uh, for the K-tuned map sensor. You just need to write in that information into the ECU. I have been struggling for quite some time trying to figure out that map sensor issue so hopefully this video can help somebody else because I couldn't find this information anywhere. I finally found out that the um, Link ECU has the onboard map sensor and will default to that um, from a guy uh, on the customer support from Link ECU. So a uh, huge shout out to him uh, and if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments down below and until next time my name is Ryan this is Project Racecar. Have an amazing day. Peace.